Stormdor guy here, and today I'm going to do a no BS honest review of the Larson Tradewinds retractable screen door. All right, let's get into this. First, this is a brown door. It is um, a recessed mount door, meaning the trim here wraps around the brick molding or the exterior trim, and the door sits in the opening. Uh, this door has a pre mortised latch rail, so the doorknob and the deadbolt lock into the frame. Very, very nice. This door also has dual door closer pistons. Uh, the bottom one is a tap and hold closer. So to hold the door open, all you do is push the button down right there to unlock it. Don't push the button again. Just push the door back open a bit more. There's a secondary backup closer on the top. Now, the nice feature about this door that everybody loves is it's a retractable screen. You flip the switch from the left to the right and then pull down on the bar up here and your screen is attached. No more changing out the glass and putting the screen in. Everything rolls up. The screen rolls up behind a tensioned, uh, a tensioned dowel behind this access plate here. So you can set the screen wherever you want it to be it'll stay right where you put it. All the way up again, you flip the switch to the left and lock it into place. This is a brown door um, with an aged bronze door handle. You got about five different color options and four or five different handle color options. Um, another thing I like about this door is the weather stripping at the bottom is dual weather stripping. So it seals very nice. Um, sometimes, you might not get a tight seal at the bottom, but this has a, an expander that can move up and down. So you just loosen the screw and move the expander up and down. Now, one of the downsides of the door is for whatever reason, this rubber weather stripping over time can shrink and you'll see a gap right there. That's uh, fairly easy to replace. You just grab the rubber weather stripping and pull it out. It just slides in the track. You can get a new one from the factory. Um, and replace it. And then this gap right here, some people have a concern about, but it's designed to be that way on every storm door because this expander goes up and down to uh, fit different heights of doors. So again, this is the Larson Tradewinds model. Um, in my opinion, one of the best doors that Larson makes. One of the downsides is um, I've had a lot of people say that the screen up at the top can fail, but I have another video on how to change that out fairly easily. For more tips and tricks uh, from the Storm Door Guy, visit stormdoorguy.com and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and follow my channel.